This woman is almost cooked. Ambient temperature up to 50 degrees. There are also continuous heat waves being released from the gas tunnel. She can only take off her clothes one by one. Can take off the vest, it's useless. It's still hot after taking off the sweater. Now there is only one thing left on the woman. A thin shirt soaked in sweat. Should I take it off? Actually the woman's misery. It can be said that it is self-inflicted. She is a journalist desperate for quick success. I accidentally heard the largest underground tunnel in the city. News about completion. To be the first to report. She decided in the safe facility. Interview if it's still not perfect. Therefore, when visiting the airtight cabin. A fire broke out in the tunnel suddenly. Desperately desperate, she can only hide in the cabin. Surrounded by steel walls. Can't open the door rashly. She was so anxious to look around the window. The good news is. Someone at the window is saved. Man told him. Because the pressure in the airtight cabin is different from the outside. Must be pressurized to open the door. And this process may be very uncomfortable. She doesn't take it seriously. At least better than being stuck here. Can be when the pressurization starts. She regretted it instantly. So called supercharging. Is to continuously inject oxygen into the cabin. The woman first feels dizzy and nauseous. Immediately after hypoxia, ventricular breathing. And the tingling sensation of tinnitus keeps hitting. She squeezed her mouth and nose for 10 minutes. Almost fainted. Wait until the pressurization is over. She immediately twisted the doorknob and rushed outside. She drank two water bottles in one breath. This is just a little bit slower. But when she looked around. Only found out that I was just from a secret room. Came to another secret room. Trapped with two workers, Uncle Bai and Brother Hay. In order to isolate the high temperature. Uncle Bai cut off the snorkel a long time ago. That is to wait until the oxygen runs out. Everyone is dead. In a hurry. Everyone started to think of ways to contact the outside world. But the cable of the landline is burned out. The phone has no signal. Uncle Bai proposed. Why don't we wait for the rescue honestly? But women not only don't listen. Screwing the doorknob like crazy. Uncle Bai immediately stopped. He said if there is still an open flame outside. Once the door is opened. The oxygen in the cabin will bring in the fire. Heard this. The woman finally calmed down. The oxygen at this time is getting thinner and thinner. Women must breathe hard. To ensure that there is no hypoxia. Look back. Uncle Bai and Brother Hay are already asleep. At this moment the woman got up quietly. Twist the door next door. What is this going to do? It turns out that when entering the tunnel. The contractor gave her a first aid kit. This box with oxygen mask and fire protection suit. In the next room. Of course she wants to swallow it alone. But the door was just halfway open. Uncle Bai was awakened by her. Women can only talk nonsense that they want convenience. Fortunately, Uncle Bai has no doubts. I closed the door by the way. Come to the other side. The woman repeatedly confirmed that no one was peeking. Then he picked up the first aid kit happily. But just opened a seam. There was a crunching noise inside. If you hear it, it's all over. How to do. Just lock the door completely. So the woman found the iron fence and put it on the door. My hands are constantly trembling because of a guilty conscience. She just sighed. Turn the switch quickly. But it's still a step slower. The door was forcibly opened. Uncle Bai saw the oxygen mask on the ground at a glance. This time the two sides are completely torn apart. Just when the two are fighting. The spare power in the cabin is also exhausted. Uncle Bai uniforms a woman in the dark. Beating and scolding. Keep you, white-eyed wolf. Everyone will be killed by you sooner or later. Talking. Uncle asked Black Brother to tie her up again. Intend to kill and then hurry. After all, few people. It means one less oxygen consumption. Fortunately, the Black Brother's conscience still exists. Stop the crazy uncle by. The woman escaped. But so much trouble. The precious oxygen is getting less and less. Uncle Bai began to discuss with Brother Black at this time. Give me the equipment. I will find someone to save everyone. Can this be believed? Black Brother is very clear. To give up equipment is to give up life. Plus the woman is adding fuel to the side. Black Brother began to question Uncle Bai's purpose. Just when the two of them couldn't help but argue. The door rang suddenly. The rescuers are finally rescued. Uncle Bai overjoyed. Immediately handed Black Brother a pair of pliers. Let him let the woman go. After all, the chance of survival is here. No need to fight to the death like a beast. But at this moment. Accident happened again. The gas tank behind the rescuer suddenly exploded. 
Ignite the remaining gas in the cave. After a while, only a shocking flame is left outside the window. Now the rescuers will definitely not be able to survive. Suddenly, the temperature in the cabin began to soar. Green smoke from plastic bottles. Even the soles of a few people's shoes were melted. Stay here. Even if it's not roasted alive. We'll be suffocated to death by poisonous gas. No time to hesitate. They immediately started looking for an exit. The escape door has been broken after the explosion. They exchanged support and climbed out of the confined cabin. This moment. The grievances of a few people disappeared. Outside the door is black pressed mud. The water pipe broke completely. Must find a new exit. Otherwise you will be drowned. However, when Brother Black went to pull the stuck uncle by. Accident happened. When the two rushed to check. Uncle Bai is hopeless. After taking two mouthfuls of blood, I stopped breathing forever. Black brother hugged his former worker and wept bitterly. Only a woman sitting aside. Calmly thinking about escape methods. She speculates that the tunnel is nearing completion. And the station is nearby. This means there is definitely not much dirt around. So she climbed the stairs. I found the softest piece of soil and started digging. Sure enough, I didn't do it twice. She saw a formed tunnel. Suddenly there was another loud noise in the distance. It seems that the explosion has not stopped. Have to go. The woman hurriedly pulled up the small black brother. Let him get into the tunnel first. And I went back to Uncle Bai. Took away the precious oxygen mask. After drilling into the tunnel. Woman holding a mobile phone lighting. Never imagined. Brother Black is already dizzy. Too late to think. She immediately dug up the dirt. Sudden. Suddenly there was a what sound. Sudden bang. A stone slab stood in front of the woman. She can't dig with her hands. I still can't dig with a kettle. Until the hands overflowed with blood. Women finally despair. The silt is still pouring in. The narrow tunnel became more and more quiet. Woman pulls out an oxygen mask. Suck greedily. Didn't take a couple of breaths. She handed the oxygen mask to the black brother. The two of you just like this. I drank each other bit by bit. But this warm situation was quickly broken. Because there is not enough oxygen. At the beginning. The two just take turns faster. But then. They started to rob. Even gradually evolved into physical conflict. Obviously life and death are at stake. People will still become beasts. Just when the two of you die and live. A beam of light broke the long darkness. Shine on their faces. Rescue is finally here. The two put down their disputes again and climbed towards a new life. In the end, both the woman and the black brother were rescued. Watching each other in the ward. They have seen the kindest side of each other. And the darkest side. Which side is true? In fact, facing life and death choices. I'm afraid no one can be selfless. Living is instinct. Law and morality are secondary. If there is only one chance of birth. Are you willing to give in? 